guys, I'm at Ulta. Uh, I found some Estee Lauder tester foundation. We have a damaged box. I see broken eyeshadow in there. I don't know. I'm just like digging through this very dirty trash can. And once I get everything home, we'll go through it over there. But yeah, one suit box so far. Guys, I just pulled out this box. We have some colognes in here. Not a lot, but it's some. They might be empty. There might be a little bit. There's like a little bit left in some of these. Chanel. I don't know, but I'm happy with whatever's in here. All right, guys, I'm home. I have a suit box, and I thought this was a suit box, but it's actually just like leftover perfumes and colognes. I also stopped by a, um, a Trader Joe's. I forgot to film it because I didn't think, there's usually never anything in there, but I found all of these flowers. They're still in really good condition. So I'm gonna make a cute little bouquet of them. They just needed like water, you know what I mean? Really pretty. Look at those. Those are pretty. So I always say flowers, but here is the perfume. I'm so excited. Oh, I actually found um, two makeup products as well. This is an Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. And then this is, I think, the Rihanna Bronzer. I'm not sure if I'll keep it just because it is a cream product and people have probably been putting their fingers in it, but I just wanted to show it to you. But let's go over the little stash of perfumes and colognes I found. There's not a lot in these guys, but it's enough to definitely sample these fragrances. So this one is Marc Jacobs Daisy. I think that's what this goes to, right? Pretty. So that's still quite a bit. Then we have a Versace. Um, it's, I think that's what it's called. Um, I, I think this might be a men's cologne. That's still quite a bit in there. And look, they still have the tops. So I'm pretty happy about that. Or, okay, here's a Daisy Love by Marc Jacobs. It has a couple sprays worth still in there. Um, Ariana Grande. How do I, I can't tell if there's anything still in this one. Hold on. I'm not even feeling any liquid. So this one's empty. Ariana Grande. Is there anything in that one? No, like one drop, you saw it moving. That was the Giorgio Armani My Way. This has quite a bit. This is Beautiful by Belly, Belly, I don't, Oh, it's Estee Lauder, so quite a bit still in there. Chloe, there is quite a bit still in there. That's definitely a few days worth. This is Dolce & Cabana, beautiful bottle, but this one is empty as well. And then we have a Chanel. This one is Platinum Chanel Paris, quite a bit still in there. I wonder if that's a guy who's it's very sh very masculine and then we have um who's this this is catalina herrera i believe i'm trying to see if i can see anything in there i don't think so i have the mini ver like the medium version of this and like the back heel comes off i guess this is the large one and you spray it up top but nothing's coming out so that one is empty so these one, two, three, four, five, six still have a little bit of fragrance in them. And I'm so excited to, you know, try these because I love to find, try to find the lids. I love to find colognes and stuff. That's fun. Chanel. I think that's that one. So I don't know. I don't think I have any proper lids. That might be the lid, but okay. I am not mad, you guys. We got some goodies. Excited. And here is the one suit box. Looks 
pretty messy. Let's see what's inside. All right, looks like whoever was in charge went to town. Yikes. All right, not looking too hopeful. We have a cord to the lange, laying um, hair tools. was the hair tool. Actually pretty nice. Look at this. This is insane. We have Estee Water foundations that look like they tried to squeeze the heck out of them. I'm sure there's still wow that was really skinny um product in some. What do you think the odds that there's a blush in this? Hold on. Nothing. Got to him too. So at this point, this lets me know that I'm not really going to find anything in here. I'm just looking to see if there was any products that they um, can't open the lid to or something, you know. So that's all I'm really looking for right now. These still have quite a bit of product in it. They did not cut them. So I will probably put those to the side and see if I can... Like that one's still got quite a bit. So these are the, pretty sure that's Estee Lauder. Yes. Hey guys, went dumpster diving today. As you can see from my thumbnail, I did find some boxes today. I found something from Burlington. The lamp is from there too. One little box is from Burlington. And then we have one damaged box from Ulta. I'm just gonna get Ulta out of the way. I'm gonna go through it real quick and then we'll move on to Burlington. I will say though, it smells very good in here and just smells really good. Um, if not wearing gloves bothers you, I'm sorry, don't have any gloves and I'm just going to go ahead and dig right in here. I wash my hands immediately after, so don't be too concerned with that. What is this? Was this a perfume bottle? No, darn. So the only reason I still take suit boxes is just the hope of finding possibly a perfume or something. So right here, I would say it's about 30% full. They did try to squeeze it out. There's a Redken acid bonding concentrate. I don't know. What is it? Hair mask, I think, which is pretty awesome because my hair is fried and dyed. So awesome. Okay, now we have more Redken products. This one's probably about 30% full as well. This is the um, same concept, just conditioner. Product, it looks like somebody bought the whole line and then returned it. Perfecting um, leave-in treatment. So somebody was going through a rough patch with their hair, bought this, and it probably didn't work. <laughs> All right, what else do we have? It was Biolage, they squeezed completely out. Didn't even know it came like that. This one is empty. This is the Redken Mega Curls. And it is messy in here. Very messy. Okay, looks like we have some powder that we can't save. Whatever this is, they squirted the crap out of it. There's nothing left. We have some foundation. This is MAC. It smells so good in here. I don't know what smells good, but it smells good. And then inside this jar was an hourglass face powder, but honestly, it doesn't look like it got in the holes yet. If I hurry up and take this lid off, I feel like I could save this powder. And it's hourglass. All right, so that box was a dud. Got some hair products and maybe some face powder. All right, moving on to the Burlington haul. And just like that, hands all nice and clean. All right, let's move on to Burlington. So these were laying right on top. I don't, I'm assuming they go together, but this is like a really pretty lavender shimmery uh, lampshade, lampshade. And then I found this gorgeous lamp. They did not cut the cord. It's really cute. It sits pretty high, um, but this. It's like the black part 
is broken that would connect I guess like the light bulb and stuff so I don't know if it's worth fixing or not or if it's an easy fix I think my hubby's gonna run to Home Depot and just see if there's like like you can replace these yourself easily but we'll see I thought it was so cute I did not want to leave it behind but I mean why would that be in there it has to go with it right I don't know all right, moving on to this big Burlington box. Let's hope for some goodies because I have not found any goodies in a while. I don't know why I'm seeing some fur. That's crazy. Pretty box. It's empty. Why is it heavy though? It's like heavy at the bottom. I don't think there's anything in there. Okay, let's see what it is. So I think it's trim to uh, a coat possibly. $5.99. Why would you charge $5.99 for this? I really do think it's like a rim to a coat, isn't it? Like a fur coat. But that's not like real fur. And here's another one. A hood to a jacket. Somebody didn't want it and they tried to sell it. They tried to sell it. Another hood. So like people are just buying jackets and leaving the hoods behind. It's crazy. All right. Let's see. Somebody... Eat some chocolate. What are these? Oh, tiny little, I think, cologne. Either somebody stole them or an employee pocketed them when they were doing the damages. <laughs> Don't blame them. Okay, so far, a lot of trash, unfortunately. Oh my goodness, what? They cut the lotion. What's foot scrub? Um, exfoliating. I've never seen Burlington do this. That kind of makes me a little sad. We have a shirt. A kid's, I think, just a long sleeve black shirt. I don't, it doesn't look cut or anything. $16.99, jet black. What's the brand? Come on, $16.99. This looks like it's from like Target. Like what, like the whole, this is somebody's, somebody, <laughs> Honestly, this they can't be selling this. I think somebody switched their shirt out in the fitting room and left this behind. And Burlington had the audacity to try to sell it for $16.99. <laughs> this is probably the same ordeal. Oops, ouch. Melrose Chic, $9.99. All right, not bad. It's just a little cami. A cute little cami that buckles, I think, just at the the front of the neck. Cute little cami. Alright, let's see if there's anything else. We have a Coco Glow lotion in here. It's dirty looking, but you just clean that up and it's fine to use. More Lindor chocolates. Won't be eating those just because I don't know how. I needed some of these. <laughs> okay. Um, some Christmas tags. It says it comes with 200 of them. Whoa. That's a lot of them. Are these stickers? Hopefully they're stickers. I actually needed some of these yesterday. Cookie. Broken glass. That says right there. Oh yeah. There's broken glass in there. So some kind of steaming pot. Is this like a crab pot? Yeah. It's like, um... It's a steamer. Seafood steamer. So I'm guessing just the lid possibly broke, but this this actual thing, um, this actual thing is still good to use. Kalu, hmm. Are those Jello? I guess I don't. It's a big thing. I wonder why they threw it away. Chum oh, chamoy. Chamoy Jello. That means it's hot, right? I don't know. Lots of chocolate in here. Um, we have a lotion down here. Oh, we have a cut little bag. We have a dirty Aeropostale shirt that somebody obviously wore and tried to trade in for something. Christmas mug with a C on it. Tiny little chip. 
You can definitely still use it. It's Christmas holiday, so you can put like your utensils on your kitchen counter. You can even put like a plant in it. I don't feel like this needs to go to waste. We have a reindeer or a fox. He's got a clip in his ear. <laughs> um, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's missing half of a foot. He's cute though. I feel like I could fix him somehow. He don't want to go to the garbage dump. Um, I'm not sure what this is. They put a sticker right on it. Hemp infused facial mist. It's still full. Get some cookies. Those look really good. They're in there. I don't know. Might, we might still take those. <laughs> um, eyeshadow. And this BB makeup kit. Soup that was opened. What is that? A big fancy bar of soap. It smells horrible. Gum. I will sing with joy. So, Bible? For a singing book, a song book. All right, so that's gonna do it for the first box. Some stuff, not a lot, but. And then we have this smaller box just full of random stuff. We have some um, women's. We have some, we have a bra, nice little bra. Like there's a few in there maybe it was a pack they didn't cut the cord that one's got like jelly on it so these can definitely be washed and donated but there's like stuff on them so i don't know now this has a smell in here i don't know what it is more hats i think we have a we've got leaked body wash or lotion Ooh, we have dove even though these are busted, I still use them. And then my little one wants to say hi. Hi. <laughs> oh, sorry, babe. Um, even though these might be like busted or leaking, they go in the shower anyways. You know what I mean? Most of the time it's just because the lid might be broken and you can still use the product. So we have like a Dove lavender body wash. I'm going to keep. Why are there so many hoods? Broken glass. Coconut snacks. Why do I want to try that? Why would it be in here? Is it expired? It's still closed. Try, oh, did they accidentally do that? It looks like they would probably unpack them and it got cut open. Ooh, gotta be careful. There might be more glass in here. Looks like we have another of these body washes. This one's really kind of spilt out. Keep it in here for now. We have a broken lid. Broken glass. What is this? Oops. Lavender room spray. Smells good. Um, trash. Trash. We have a we have a cute little lantern. This is like a skinnier one. It's actually really cute. Just the glass is broken. Perfect for like sitting outside, like being on your back porch. Like it doesn't need the glass. You just use it. So that's actually really cute. So I think that's gonna do it for this little haul. Not a lot, but at least we, we picked a few little things from it and the other things we can donate and we can utilize, which is what's important because we're keeping these things from going to the trash that don't really need to go to the trash. Like, you know, so hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you in the next clip or I'll see you in the next video.